So for those of you that don't have um, DDXL, which is how I created the normal probability plot, all is not lost. You still have StatCrunch at your disposal. So StatCrunch, I'm under Tools for Success here. I clicked on that. And here's StatCrunch. Let me click on that. And it's going to open up another window. It just takes it a second. Um, it might ask you when this opens to if you want to run Java. So if, it, if that comes up, then just say yes, run it. All right, we're in Chapter 7. We're doing 7-4, number 13, so let me click on that one. And there's the data. You go to Graphics, and what you're looking for is right here. It's called the QQ plot um, in StatCrunch. Long story about why, so don't worry about why. Just click on that. And then it says to select the columns, so I'm going to select this one, the loan amount. That's what I'm trying to do. And I can create graph. And there you go. There's the curve. And this one's kind of nice because it draws the line that it should be. So these points are not roaming around that line. You can see that they're way far off. Let me go to Options. And you can copy this window. You can go back to your Excel assignment. And you can right click and paste. And there you go. Right. So you don't have to do it with DDXL. If you don't have DDXL, you can use StatCrunch. It's not going to hurt you. But the, the result is still the same, right? The data is not normally distributed because the points are not even close to forming a line. And in a way, StatCrunch is nicer because they're showing you the line. If this was normal, then these points would kind of be all hovering around it. They certainly would be, wouldn't be going all over the place away from it like this. And they wouldn't be forming a curve. They'd kind of be more equal. All right, so that's how to get around it. If you don't have DDXL, you can still make it through.